हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डायनेमिक फॉर्मेट स्ट्रिंग फॉर द मेजर्स दिस फीचर डायनेमिक फॉर्मेट स्ट्रिंग फॉर द मेजर इज अवेलेबल फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम ना दिस एन आर्टिकल ऑन पावर बी आई डॉट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डॉट कॉम ऑन दिस विच केम इन दंथ ऑफ अप्रैल एंड इट हैज इन डिटेल डिस्क्राइब दैट हाउ कैन यू यूज दिस फॉर्मेट अलॉन्ग विद हाउ कैन यू इनेबल दिस so you need to enable the preview feature and then you can use it and then there are quite a few example which has been given here so i am going to take one of these example and showcase you how to use it not only this i am also going to take few more examples of how previously we used to do few things and how we can do it in new scenarios so let me showcase you what i try to achieve today so if you look at my screen the power bi screen you can see that you know i have a formatted time in the table visual so now this is my formatted time versus this is my non formatted time similarly i have one of the example from the blog where this is formatted in k millions and regular values versus these are the regular values similarly i have examples on the left hand side where i am either displaying faces or i am displaying labels now you would ask that these labels and these faces we were able to create majors using the unicode previously also but they create a text major now see i want to sort on gross or whether i sort on the label both are able to sort in such cases they are able to sort in this case the reason is because this is still a numeric major so even though the value is not getting displayed in this case we are able to still sort on these values because they are still numeric values so this is the advantage over creating a major which becomes a text and follow text formatting and might not give you the result correct result on the sorting this is a much better approach so we will use this dynamic string format now in power bi i'll tell you how to do that so before that we just need to check our setup so we go to the home options and setting options and under the preview feature we need to make sure that dynamic format string for the major is enabled this feature is already enabled for me if in case it is not enabled for you you check this out and press on okay below sometime it may ask you to restart the power bi now time has come that i jump onto a new power bi file and we will try this operation there so i'll bring in a new power bi file where i'm going to try this operation and let me move this outside this screen now the first thing which i wanted to show you how to do that formatting of the time now this is a little bit tricky so first of all i need a major which is basically kind of a average time so so what i'm going to do here is i'll go to my sales table and in my sales table i have two column sales data delivery date both are dates there is no difference in second but for the showcasing purpose let me go ahead and create a column which gives time in second so i'm going to create a new column i clicked on already existing column and then i can click on column tools new column and it will give me a new column option on the left hand side of the equal to i'm going to give the new column name which let's call time diff and then i can say date diff function which i'm going to use smaller date which is sales date in my case the bigger date which is delivery date in my case and the difference in days hour minutes seconds i'm going to use seconds so that i can use that formula which i already created my column is ready you can do this calculation inside the major also there is no challenge in that now i go back to the visualization and here i am going to create a new visual and in that visual i want to bring in brand and average of this new column so let me first of all create a new major i click on a table under the table tools i have option for new major let me click on new major and let me call it format ted time average and i'm going to say it average 
सेल्स टाइम डिफ लेट मी कॉपी दिस कैलकुलेशन बिकॉज आई एम गुड क्रिएट टू सच मेजर्स एंड आई एम गुड टू फॉर्मेट ओनली वन ऑफ दैम आई अगेन क्लिक ऑन ए न्यू मेजर and i'm getting a new major here i'm going to say not formatted so i got a formatted one i got a not formatted one two majors i got and now i'm going to create a visual for that i'm going to click on item table drag the brand from the item table in the blank space of the page it's a new page where i'm dragging it and then let me bring in my formatted majors right now they are not formatted so both of them is going to show the same value now what i want to do is i want to format this major time major into time so click on the major go to the major tool inside the major tool you have format and open the format and use the last option dynamic now i can write down my own format let me bring in the code and then i'll explain you this code so i got the format and i'm going to use it inside the dynamic once you choose the dynamic you will get this format so you can see the major calculation by using major the format using the format inside the format i'm going to paste this now here what i'm doing is using the double quotes and then m percent and now you see the selected major selected major means the current major in the context so is going to take the current calculation what i'm saying is quotient 86400 which is the number of seconds in a day so i am dividing it by number of seconds in a day and taking the quotient part so it is number of day now the remainder is which is less than 86400 is the time inside the day now every time you go to the next one this quotient become more and you put one more quotient to reduce the value to the next step so what i done is i change this question to more and put another question to divide it by 3600 to get the hours from the second so from remaining second we are getting hours then i further went and in the question again i use two modes which remove the days which remove the hours only left out with minute and finally i use all three modes where i am removing the day removing the hours removing the minutes and finally left out with seconds only I have also used format function to make sure I am getting two digits always, even though there are no two digits available, even if it's a single digit. Now, I have also rounded my seconds so that I am not getting any time below second level. So this is how I constructed this string. So this is the string for your reference. We press the enter, and you can see that we are getting time into a different format. Let me sort descending on this. you can see that we are getting 5 days 2 hours 38 minute and 37 seconds similarly 5 days 1 hour 35 minutes and 22 seconds and you can see these thing that we have having some difference here and those difference are getting reflected here in this manner i am able to show time in day hh mm ss format now here the good thing is that it is a sortable column it is not that i convert it into string and it is not going to sort now certain formats like this particular format is still sortable in this string format also but sometime we may come across a format which is not sortable on string now let's try some more example now this is something like star rating or you know number of faces you show and you can show different combinations which we are doing for quite some time using the majors but this time we are going to achieve that using the major formatting again to do that i'm going to bring in brand into the visualization along with that i'm going to bring in gross now with that i plan to bring in a major where i'm going to put in faces but let me go ahead and create the major first so my major would be so in in this major what i am doing basically is i am dividing the gross by the maximum value of the gross so calculate max x values means you should group the values at the brand level so when i am doing all selected 
I am selecting max by taking the values which are grouped at the brand level. So while all selected can give me the grand total here, I am taking a max x by grouping the data at the brand level. So I am going to get the highest value. From the highest value, I divide the current value. Whatever values I am getting, I am multiplying it by 5 and rounding it off to the one decimal place. Let me see what I got now. As you can see, I am getting these values. Now what I can do is basically I can round up to it to the zero decimal place. So now I'll get only one, two, three, four, five. Now in this one, I want faces. So for that, we need a unique error character. You can search on Google or any other internet thing or even chat GPT and can find out unique error character for a specific need. So here again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on unique care face major, go to the major tool format. I'm going to say dynamic and I'm going to paste this format here again, the formatting require zero decimal place and unique air for the face is 128578. And as you can see, I got the faces and these faces I can sort descending also. I'm using concatenated X and I'm using generate series from one to the ratio by the difference of one. And then I am appending these unique air by giving the space. But when I'm going to take the next example, I'm going to do a little bit different thing there. There I'm going to use repeat function. So let me now create the star example label star again in the label star. I'm going to use the same major calculation. So let me copy this calculation and create now label star. So if you have clicked on any of the major in the major tool, you also have an option for new major. Click on the new major and let's create unique air star inside the unique air star. Let's go to the format function into the major tool and use dynamic here. Let me copy the calculation from the other file. My calculation again, round up from the maximum number, making it five times. Let me make it to the zero decimal place here. I'm using a repeat function. So what I'm saying, you repeat this unique air till this number. So it should keep on repeating that to that many times. So unique air, which I'm using is, 9733 and let me add this to the visualization. As you can see, I am now getting these star values very similar to face values. Now, one of the advantage with this star value is that if I go to the formatting and I go to the cell elements, I can do the font formatting. The moment I enabled it, let me go to the gradient. And here I can select margin percentage and margin small is bad and more is good. I can even add a middle color and let me do this. Now I have done this on the brand. Actually, I want to do it on the unique air star. So select unique air star here, go to the font. I want to do the font formatting. Now I can go here, choose the gradient and instead of unique air star, let me choose margin percentage margin is red low green high and let's add a middle color and say okay you can see different colored stars so in this manner we can get the colored stars also so not only you can get the stars you can get color star similarly you can get add a code for half star or something else if you want to have that kind of star rating the advantage here, other than creating a major that these are sortable. So you can click here and sort on this and they will sort as the value sorting. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.